Hello again, everyone. This time I am here to show you this adorable pillow that you can make out of duct tape. It's a perfect craft to do with your kids because then they'll love snuggling up to it when they're done making it. Some of the items you'll need to make it is basically duct tape and you'll also need to put some stuffing in there. So you can use cotton, you can use any type of thing that could be stuffing for a pillow. Two ingredients makes it pretty simple to make. Ingredients, you know what I mean, two supplies. <laughs> so how do we make this, you ask? Very simple. You need some duct tape. Again, it comes in multiple colors and patterns. I believe there's also like chalkboard duct tape out there nowadays. And you also have corkboard duct tape, which I would love to get my hands on that. So I just used some duct tape that I had laying around the house and I had to make the base to start. So as I've mentioned before, and everybody mentions in their videos, you make a base by using duct tape. You rip off a whole um, line of duct tape as much as you think it's, you'll need to make your base. And then you lay it down on a table with the sticky part up. Sticky sides always up when you start. You just keep doing this process, repeating this, and then laying the tape on top of each other just a little bit till you have a long square base. Well, it doesn't have to be square, but rectangle square, either or. Make sure you have the base, the bottom of it. Then you repeat that whole step, but instead of putting the duct tape sticky side up, you put it facing down on top of the tape that's already there. Sounds confusing, but you'll see in my steps that come after this video is done. I'll have the step-by-step -step instructions, which makes it a little bit more clear on what you would do. So you've got your base. Then you have to make a second base because there is two sides of this pillow. So you make your second part of the base and then you stick those two together, not stick them together, but you put them together and then just cut them that way so that your shapes end up being the same size. Once it's cut, you're going to have to start closing the sides of the pillow. So I use tape. You can use the same color tape or different tape, whatever you'd like to do or whatever enhances your pillow. And you only tape it up to around this part because you still need to stuff your pillow. So you tape it up to around there on both sides. Take your stuffing, stuff your pillow, and then you just continue taping it until you have it completely shut. Once your pillow is done, you start decorating. I am not lucky enough to have a Cricut. If I had a Cricut machine, I might have done some more funky stuff instead of just using a Sharpie and writing love on my pillow. Still pretty cute though, right? <laughs> so maybe one day I'll have a Cricut and I'll make it look even more cool. So one side I just put love. Then on the other side, just like I did with my pouch, I don't know if you've seen that video, but check it out if you'd like to. I put a cute little another pouch on the outside of it. So it's a pouch on a pillow, whereas my other video was a pouch on a pouch. This pouch can hold little love notes. Let's see what this one says. Oh, nothing too cute. Just says, write your sweet note here. <laughs> and you can stick it in there. We've got Velcro. So that might be another supply you'll need is Velcro if you want to do a pouch. Or like I've said in my previous videos, another amazing thing to put in this pouch is cash. You can always make this a little cash cushion. Or another thing you could even make it is I know it seems odd, but if your kids want to make it as a tooth fairy pillow, they could do that as well. So you could put your tooth in there and then the tooth fairy comes at night and puts a nice $5 bill, $10 bill. Who knows how much the tooth fairies is going to give them this time around when they use a cool duct tape pillow. That's another great idea for this. I'm glad I thought of that. <laughs> so anyways, you will see the step-to-step -step instructions right after this. Have a great day, guys.